What is up, guys? We are back with some more Persona 3 Reload, and we start off with Chidori I'm here. Trying. Why is this? What? Huh? And out it's to Sasuke. Been a while. That voice. I'm glad to see you once again. Jin, the instruments, if you would. You gonna give her a new Voker? You're not going to do it, huh? Can't even recognize your own evoker. <gasps> now there's nothing in the world keeping you here, yes? Takaya. Surely you understand. There is nowhere for you to go. Your only choice is to come with us. Or else he's going to kill her. You know all too well that death is not to be feared. You need only fear. I know, Takaya. Excellent. It's all his fault. Ever since he started getting too close, I've suffered every single day. And now, I'm afraid to die. Hey, you know oh, that's why she told Hurry him up. to like stop visiting. She started caring about him and caring Gia, about her life. Let's go. What the clock means, y'all. Barros is visiting us? Sorry oh, okay. I, I was about to say, I thought he said he was never going to see us again. Um, I'm not sure how to say this, but you need to go to the fourth floor and please hurry. Okay. Does she even get sleep? Like, how is she just monitoring stuff like What's this all the time? On? Yamagishi detected a presence. Other Persona users. They're outside Tartarus. Other Persona users? You don't mean... Striga. They're still alive. Man, those bastards! First the Dark Hour doesn't go away and now Striga's back? What the heck's going on? Yamagishi, can you see who it is? There's only one of them, but... I thought she was in the hospital. Huh? No, she's... She's inside! Ah! Inside What's what? Wrong? Her head? Wait. Long time no see. Oh, she made it in here like that. Chidori! She hijacked the transmission? I can't stand the sight of you all anymore. So I've decided to get rid of you. Oh? Come to me. No, oh, come to me. I'm okay. Damn, if she's strong, she could just hijack Fuka like that. It. Wasn't she in the hospital? Junpei, do you have any idea what's going on? Junpei? Shut up! I don't know shit! God damn it! What? Junpei, come back! Yeah, we can't let him go alone. He just going to get himself this is killed. This certainly a trap, but it's Strega we're dealing with. We can't just ignore them. And if we confront them, we might gain some insight on the current situation. Please be careful. I only sensed one person, but the other two could be nearby. True. Leader, we have no idea what they're planning. So choose your team wisely. We'll go after Iori once you're ready. I mean, I think we're ready. Everybody's in the in the outfits I want them to be in, and I think we just need to start off with Parvati, and we're good to yes. go. This door looks badass, honestly. Chidori, what's going on? Talk to me. Doing this doesn't make any sense. I mean, I know I'm not that smart. And I've done a lot of stupid things. But this... This is wrong. We shouldn't be fighting each other. Junpei-kun, look out! Oh! Woo, she just got an axe out of nowhere. That was close. You could have killed someone there. 
story. Why? Get back, Junpei. Talking won't solve anything now. We gotta beat the shit out of her. Let's go. I know how you feel, Junpei-kun. Please, just back up. Medea. Oh man, we gotta kill Shidori now. This isn't where I belong. I've known that from the start. Shidori! What the hell's gotten into you? Get ready. Damn, that did a lot to Yuka, uh, Yukari. What to do? What the F, man? Looks like we can't use our theurgy either because like the gauge isn't going up. I find that very odd. Yeah, her new persona looks badass that whip. Takaya was right. They're all just a nuisance. Oh, she's gonna try to confuse us. Damn it. Because Mitsuru has this skill. No, oh, I barely have money. <laughs> I'm broke as shit. No weaknesses, great. I'll go with. That was a freaking lot. Like, what the heck? Pull the trigger. This is going to be an interesting fight because, like, we're not getting anything from our theurgy gauge. We're far from that full moon. What's the plan? How about this? Why? Why won't you leave me alone? You told us to find know. you. I don't know anymore. You don't pay. You Oh, you can't do all that and then like instantly hit one of the team members. <laughs> but make sure too that uh, my guy doesn't have weakness to fire, right? Anybody absorb fire? No. Womp. Alright, well. This one has pierce boost. But that's going to do a lot of damage. Now's the time. Come on, Hopefully she doesn't heal up for that 2800.
told you. Don't touch me. Chidori, please. Tell me why you're doing this. What I fear most isn't death. What I fear most is attachment. When I do, I become horrified by the thought of loss. My possessions, my life, everything. That's why we only ever live for the moment. But you, Junpei, you brought me pain I never wanted. What? When I'm with you, Junpei, I fear everything. I fear loss. I fear death. I fear my time with you will end. That's why I... Chidori. That scent. What is it? It's the others from Straka. How did they... Bastards. You just don't know when to give up. <sighs> I refrained from interfering as requested, and look what became of it. Chidori, I see that it is too late. Well, Tommy's gonna shoot her. You've been poisoned by them. What the hell does that mean? You freaking ghost! Ah. I am no ghost. Fate simply permitted me to live despite my detachment to life. You might say I was chosen. Bastard! That's it! I'm not letting you do this to her anymore! I'll protect Chidori with my life! Chilpei. Chidori, come with me! Don't stay with these guys! Hmm. Junpei, look out! <laughs> Bro, what? Junpei. No! Was not expecting that. Huh? I'm so glad you're awake. Chidori? I thought I was. I guess I was wrong. My fear, my heartache, I blamed it all on you, Junpei. I'd never felt that way before I met you. And for the first time in my life, I, I realized what I wanted. And... What's that? I... Want to be with you, Junpei. Oh, he, I, okay, so he's gonna be bought her back out in two years. I, um, uh, I, I want to be with you too. But it could never last, and it breaks my heart. We are different from you. Since the moment I gained my power, I've known the day I was going to die. Huh? The very thought of it horrified me. Up until then, I'd never once thought about death. But I realize now, dying means I won't see you anymore. Chidori. That's why this is for the best. You can't die here, Junpei. Me? Die? What? Yeah, because she can heal. And he didn't tell anybody that she could heal. What the hell? Now she's going to get shot. Junpei! It's her persona. Does it have the power to bestow life? I don't believe it. She brought him back from the dead. Or does she use her life force? If she goes maybe? as far as completely reviving someone, the cost for that would be... Shh. Her own life. Sorry. <laughs> oh, never mind. He ain't clapping cheeks. So it worked. 
I can hear you. The sound of your beating heart. But I'm not gonna lie, I care more about her dying than I did about uh Arigaki. <laughs> now I can go on living. Chidori, no! See, and the thing about her character that I liked is, you know, she was like a depressed, anti-social, suicidal girl. And this, this is a redeeming quality in her. Bro, give her that kiss before she actually dies. Chidori. I love you. Jube. Thank you. <laughs> she Dory. You're kidding, right? Say something, please. Pitiful. Such a meaningless end. Oh, the audacity. Meaningless. Let me at him. Let me at him. Hmm. Hold my Glock. We about to throw hands. Oh, wait. Fusion. Oh, snap. The resolution in Junpei's heart has awakened a new persona. Junpei's persona Hermes became one with Chidori's persona Medea. They gave rise to the new power. Tries Megestius. <laughs> Couldn't even say that properly. Medea? Burn in hell! Let's go! <laughs> now it's like, do I want to use him? He can use fire and, uh... Well, no, he's always been able to use fire. I guess it just worked out that she had fire too. That was quite a spectacle. Now, allow me to respond in kind. Takaya, don't, don't forget about your mission. You don't gotta waste any more time on him. I have a much greater purpose to fulfill. And since you have no means of destroying the Dark Hour, there's no point in dealing with you any longer. Enjoy squandering what little time you have left. I think I got a good amount of time. I'm not actually throwing a grenade. Oh, smoke Get bomb. Back here! Junpei! Let me go! I'll... She entrusted you with this life! Don't just throw it away. Chidori. Pick up your revoker, bro. Chidori. I. I. Oh, God, this is so hard. But it's not just my life anymore. Junpei. No school. That was pretty intense, though, with uh, Chidori pretty much giving up her life force in order to provide Junpei. I was not expecting that. 
Try to keep your chin up, Junpei. I know. So what'd you want? This came from the hospital. Is this... Chidori's sketchbook? They found it while they were sorting through her belongings. Ah. Um. <sighs> I know. I gotta snap out of this, but... It's just so hard. Yeah. Hey, Junpei, can I take a look? You probably wouldn't understand her drawings anyway. What the? Wow, it's really good. This is amazing. Who wouldn't understand a drawing like this? Huh? Did you jump his face? It... Oh it's man, she sketched it. portrait in. of Junpei-san. Sorry. <laughs> Junpei. Like she's telling me to stop moping around. Junpei Kun. Okay, I'm gonna fight to get rid of the Dark Hour. I'm sorry for all the times I snapped at you. I still hate to admit it, but just know I'll be counting on it. Massive fire damage to one foe, ignoring resistance fully restores user's HP. Oh, okay. Junpei. Full going up. You're pretty often. Weird we never see each other. Well, I'm out of here. See you later. Later, Yoji. Was that Yoji, son? Yeah, he said he was going home. Why was he here? To see Junpei. They've been hanging out a lot ever since the school trip. But the rules state that visitors aren't allowed here. Yeah, but Rijo Senpai said it's cool as long as no one stays late. I don't think we have anything to worry about. He is dangerous. Dangerous? Ryoji kun? Come to think of it, he did hit on Mitsuru Senpai the first time he met her. But having him around has really helped cheer you up, Junpei kun. Well, no point in dwelling on the past, right? Won't change a damn thing. That's true. Hmm? What's up, I chum? I'm fine. It's just I envy you, Junpei. I'm a machine. So I don't understand what it feels like to live. Really? Well, you don't seem that different. In my case, it's more accurate to say that I'm operational, as opposed to alive. There are times when I malfunction, but I can always be repaired. Well, if we were all like you, then we never have to worry about dying. Oh, crap! Uh, I don't have time to talk right now. I've got a mountain of homework. Serves me right for slacking. Oh, no use whining. Junpei studying on purpose? I guess hell finally froze over. Well, better call it a night then. The gift of life is not something I should possess. A weapon is much more difficult to operate when it's alive. I mean, true. That said, I believe I understand the concept of loss. 
leader, the thought of something happening to you, it makes me... Understood. You are very special to me. I can't explain why, but I never want to leave your side. I want to protect you at all costs, to be there for you always. I apologize for keeping you. You must be tired. So much has happened in so little time. I'll return to my room as well. Good night. Yoji Mochizuki. He is dangerous. What is this unsettling feeling? I am a machine. I can't die. So no one will have to grieve for me. I have to do something. I don't want to see them suffer anymore. So it looks like Ryuji didn't come to school, or Ryoji, and uh, he texts us saying, meet him in the music room. I don't know what this is about. Name's weird, but uh, I guess we'll, we'll head there. Let me see, actually. Um. Dang. Okay, so I can unlock her social link. Guys, I maxed out all my social stats, so... Next, I'll be trying to max that out. This music room? Actually, no. It's just gonna be a scout up, right? Oh, fuck it. I'm already here. Thanks for coming. Oh, right. Uh, I was absent today. Well, that's not exactly it. It's just... How do I put this? I suddenly just got this feeling that I'm running out of time. And I felt like I had to see you. I had to talk to you. Why me specifically? Sorry. I'm not even sure what I wanted to say to you. So, I guess for today, I'd like to say thanks. You got some it hasn't illness, been that bro, long or what? Since we met, but I feel like I've learned so much by spending time with you. I just really wanted to thank you for that. You showed me around the school and the city. I got to hang out with you and the others. I even got to go on a trip with you. That was a lot of fun. It's been a joy to experience and learn new things every day. This is way different from the first piano song he played. you to hear this song when I saw those couples in Kyoto or when I visited you guys at the dorm I realized that's what it really means to build a connection with someone it's that feeling of overcoming something together and keeping each other going both sides need to come to an understanding that's how connections are built right I want you to know that you're important to me I know I said I wanted us to be friends but I actually want to be something more. Uh, what about you? Uh, sir, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't really get it myself, but I... Excuse me. Oh, it's you. Sorry, I hope I didn't interrupt. I was just passing through the hall, and I heard someone playing a beautiful song on the piano. So I thought I'd stop by to watch the performance. Who was the one playing? Was it you? No, it, oh boy. Oh, 
I wanted to ask. It might have just been my imagination, but I thought I sensed Ryoji kun's presence in this room. Uh, it was here. What Were the hell? Were you not with him? Hmm? Uka and I left the music room and returned to the door, and the melody Ryoji played on the piano remained fresh in my mind. Nah, but that was weird though. Like, why did he just disappear like that? I know, I get he said, you know, I feel like I'm running out of time, but like, come on. Guys, if that's the case, and like we're just one day away from uh, it being midnight, or not midnight, the full moon, sorry. Uh, I'm going to end the episode off here, so that way the next episode can pretty much encapsulate all of the dialogue and the cutscenes there. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you leave a like for the video. It helps out the video a lot. And also subscribe to the channel because it lets me know you enjoy the content you see right here. But with that said, stay sharp. Later.